we are discussing about composite api but what's the need to discuss composite api i mean why composite api why not following the traditional approach of one to one like you will be having one request and you will get one response why we should use composite api so the idea is pretty clear that you if we want to do something we want to do some get operation post operation delete operation patch operation we are making a request and we are getting one response so single request is giving us some single response and this can lead us to some troubles and this is almost every time us doing some operation doing some patch get delete we need to do something we use an api make a request and get a response and we can lead to this like we can get request limit exceeded error at times like we have a limit of 50000 api call, call outs and we can it might happen that you flow with the emotions and lose count of your api limits and we'll be like we have to wait for 24 24 hours to get a revive means api limits will be revised in 24 hours so this thing is pretty tedious that you will get an error of request limit exceeded and you have to wait for 24 hours why not something that we can hit a single queries hit a single request and get response of multiple items is that possible yes that is possible and the savior is composite api now now i mean what is composite api composite api executes a series of rest api requests in a single call like the entire series of requests can count as a single call towards an api means there will be 25 sub requests but it will count as a single api call now what is this 1 is to 25 and 1 is to 5 like it also has some limitations we can have up to 25 sub requests in a single call and five of these can be query or as object collection like if it is related to as object collection then the limit is five and if it is query then also limit is five but if it is normal rest request getting some record or something then you can get 25 at a time now how does it looks like it is no rocket science it is pretty simple it takes these three parameters like one one is all or none second is collate sub requests and third is composite request which is holding other composite sub requests so what is this all or none as the name suggests if this is true all will be executed or all will be rolled back if one gets an error so learn like this if the composite sub request one has a problem then these two guys also will be having problem none of them will be executed like pretty good friends if all or none is true then no one has problem with one another like if this is a problem then it won't be executed others will be executed now what is this collate sub requests it is used for optimization and if this is true then the api will be more optimized but you cannot guarantee the order of execution if this is false it works great so can we have a demo yes we can so if like is this visible postman yes yep so what i'm doing right now is i'm creating a sample account and i'm using the sample account and linking it to a contact in a single api call what i'm doing is i'm creating in first method it is a post i'm creating a sample account and the second i am referencing uh, some contact with the account that i have created just now above in a single call so if i will do send it yeah it works fine the account was created and the contact was also linked like we have created a contact and we also link this contact with the account that we have created above so it works pretty simple like this only here we are having composite response 
uh, response is type of JSON, which is very easy to handle. So this is first body, request of the first body, and this is the request, like second body. And it works really simple like this. Now, what is the beauty of this composite API? Now, it is very beautiful. Now, all sub requests are executed in the context of the user. Suppose there are five sub requests one, two, three, four, five. Then we will get five responses response one, two, three, four, five, just in the same order, not asynchronous. Might be it's working asynchronous internally, but we are getting the response as the order, ex order decided by the user. And as we have seen, a particular sub request reference ID will map it to the sub request response. Now, now you can refer to the ID in the URL to the body fields for later sub requests by using JS like notation that we have used. Like we have created an account, then we have created a contact, and we have linked that contact with the account. We can do everything in a single call. And I have more something exciting, more something interesting. Now, what's more interesting? Now, what if, what if I say that there was a limit of 25? If I can increase that limit to 500, yes, we can do it. Now, composite graphs comes into the picture. Now, what is this composite graph? Composite graph extends regular composite requests by allowing you to assemble and more complicated and more complex complete series of related objects and records and but the use case is limited as it is written like regular composite requests have a limit of 25 sub requests but using composite graphs you can increase this limit to 500 like I was saying, we can create complex things, but how complex? We can do this everything in a single call. Like we will create a contact, we will give parent ID to account to, we will also create account to, and we will create a contact which is linked with account to. We can we will create contact two, which is reporting to contact one, contact three reporting to contact two, and opportunity which is linked with the campaign and account two, and also campaign member which is linked with the lead that we have created. We can do this thing in a single request, not hitting one one on one uh, request response, like one for this, one for this, one for this. Like we can do everything in a single call. Because we have to make sure about the architecture. Now let's see how this composite graph works. As I have shown you, like we have, we can do 500 calls at the same time, 500 sub requests at the same time in a single call. So just for the sake of the demo, um, accessing 25 items in the first composite request in the like graphs, graph ID number one, in the graph number one, I'm using 25 sub requests. And in the graph number two, I'm using 25 sub requests. And it's a single call, not multiple calls. So 25 plus 25, I'm accessing 50 things at the same time. Is this possible? Yes. Is this Yes, this is possible. Yep. We got the response. Like uh, the, the graph is also very simple. We get the data in JSON, and we can do everything with, uh, like, do everything with it in J uh, JS. So it is also having like the request sub requests are pretty simple. Just we have done in composite. Uh, it is like method, reference ID, URL, very simple. And what about that complex architecture? Can we do that also? Yes, we can do that. It's like uh, we can create this complex architecture. We can give reference ID to each other like this that I have created just now. It won't work because the lead is created previously. I won't be able to create next lead. 
the cause with the same name. Like duplicates are detected. You can see there. Use one of these records. And this is how the complex, like composite rest works. Now here are the resources. And if you guys have like hard time sleeping at night, you guys can always check these resources.